Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad for this opportunity to bring God's truth to you. And hey, we are in the month of June and God has started already. He said he's releasing his a measure of his spirit that will cause us to be witnesses of him. Praise God. Are you ready? This is a month to really prepare for. So I, I, I'm looking at the supply of the Spirit upon our life. Praise God. And, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, I had a wonderful time yesterday. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can we call for that daily bread today? Listen, just begin to enjoy prosperity already. Just begin to enjoy it in little, no little measure. Just enjoy it. Are you ready? Say this and say it with confidence. Don't just think it in your mind. Say it. Open your mouth and say, Say, Lord, I demand today my daily bread. I receive it from you right now. Everything that pertains to my life and godliness today, I receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Woo. I'll, I'll share, you know, there, there are some things that the Spirit of God have taught us and we practice. It's not everything the Lord have taught us that it's so easy to communicate. Because see, when the Holy Ghost was teaching you, He wasn't speaking English to you per se. He, he was just releasing in your heart an understanding. So you, 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 you can't say the Holy Spirit told me word for word. You know, not all the time. Because first and foremost, the Holy Spirit doesn't speak English. <laughs> you know, He doesn't speak English. He said, the Holy Spirit spoke to me in my native tongue. No, He didn't speak to you in your native tongue. You understood Him in your native tongue. Yes, praise God. Yes, that's the truth. You, you received his words in your native tongue. And you know why? Because it is in your native tongue that vocabulary could be downloaded. What he's saying. See, because there are, there are words in your native tongue that... Um, let me... If, if, you are in, if you are from Nigeria, for example. Now... There are, there are words that um, of different languages. The way they are spelt is not the way they are pronounced. See? The way they are spelt is not the way they are pronounced. So if someone writes it to you and you don't know that language, you may be calling that word and the person who is from that place will not understand what you're saying. See? So... Um, you, for example, you want to spell um, Shei. Now, Shei is a Yoruba name, so you spell S-E-Y-I. Now, you just write S-E-Y-I to someone, and someone looks at me and says, Sei. So someone can go to a Yoruba person and say, Hey, um, do you know Sei? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. What's Sei? Sei now, one guy. Uh, and the person is thinking, what oh, English name say you are? What kind of name is that? Say. And I said, ah, but that's the name. That's his name. I said, ah, what do you mean that's his name? Yes, I have a letter for him. And the person is like, oh, Shay. I didn't say Shay. Uh, it's not Shay, it's Say. No, it's Shay. No, it's Say. <laughs> you see that now? Now, because you don't understand that dialect, you spoke and the person didn't get you in the first place. So when the Holy Ghost comes to speak to you, that's why I say he doesn't speak English. The depth of his communication with you, it will, you will begin to receive it because what he's communicating to you is not words just words alone. What is he's, he's communicating a message to you. So he he's not going to communicate S E Y E. 
what is going to communicate, you will get it as shame. You understand what I'm saying? Because you understand that that is your language. I pray the Lord gives you understanding. And so someone said, ah, the Holy Spirit spoke my language to me. No, sir. He spoke to you. You understood it in your language. And I just explained why to you. Praise God. So now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All these things are the walkings of this power. So I was telling yesterday, he gives you new tongues. And as you are speaking those tongues, it is affecting your own vocabulary. Because he is now introducing new thoughts and ideas in your heart. And that's where the spirit of innovation comes from. Now, maybe you have been trained. Now, that's why I see everything about life. The Bible says time and chance happens to them all. Maybe you're a scientist. You have been trained to reason as a scientist. Now, you, you, you now receive the Holy Ghost and you begin to speak in tongues. Let me tell you the truth. He can begin to give you scientific innovations while you're speaking in tongues. Now, if you are not given to learning, it will be useless to you. If you are given to learning, now anyone who's given to learning and truly given to learning, that person is going to be coming up with lots and lots of questions. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, in, in, you know, one thing that affects God's children the most is laziness. What kind of laziness? We work hard. No. Laziness to learn. See, every day of your life, you may be working hard. You, I mean, physically now, you, you, you may be doing some strenuous work or you may be working night, morning till night, trying to make ends meet. But you see, you don't realize that in all that work you do, time and chance is happening. And your promotion is lying within that. <laughs> See, anything that's going to promote you in life is, is between that you and the work that you do. So someone says, eh, I, I need to change jobs. Why? Because um, the kind of work I do, I cannot uh, meet people. I don't meet people. So I, I want to get married. So I need to change the job I do. But you don't realize that you may just have been even missing your spouse. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, of course, I know there are situations where God will have to speak and say, leave this position, go to this other place. Yes, I know. But you see, understand this also that, you see, where you are, where you are, time and chance is happening. You meet people that know people and, and you are communicating. So what, what you are actually doing to yourself that is making you lose opportunities is that you lock up. So people don't really know who you are. Meanwhile, Jesus said to you, allow your light to shine. What does it mean, allow your light to shine? Does it mean quoting scriptures everywhere? John chapter 2 verse 1, blah, 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 blah. John, is, does that mean, is that what he meant? No. The things he has taught you, they have become your lights. The things he has taught you, they have become your lights. You know, the Lord can, for example, the Lord can teach you how never to borrow. See that now? He will teach you. Now, when I say teach you, not just saying don't borrow. Nah, that's not teaching. That's a command. But when you, when you open your heart to the command, the Holy Ghost will begin to teach you how to keep the command. See that now? Now that is, that is what benefits you. So a lot of God's children take commands, but they miss the teachings. They don't know the teachings. So they know, okay, God says we should not lie. Okay, but you have not been taught how not to lie. It's okay. So God says, don't do this. Yeah. 
but you have not submitted yourself to be taught how not to do that. So you keep thinking this, this Christianity is hard. This Christianity says, because all you see are commands that God has given. Oh, don't do this. So what can we do then? Because you have not been taught. See that now? So God says, don't borrow. Okay. So Lord, if I don't borrow, how do I get that thing? How do I survive? How do I live? Then he begins to teach you. He begins to teach you. Now what he begins to teach you becomes your light. Now what do you do with your light? You let it shine. And so you get to work and then you see your colleague. He said, man, um, I'm, I'm, come, I'm, come, come, come. Can you come and sign as a guarantor for me? I, I know you know me. I, you know that uh, I have this challenge. I need to borrow this money. But they said they need someone to guarantee me. So please listen. I, I, I promise to pay. Look at look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And then, now here you are. The Lord have taught you not to borrow. And what do you? What do I do now? Now the Lord is giving you an opportunity to shine your light towards that person. So he said, must you borrow this? Ah, let's, 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 let's sit down. Let me talk to you. You know, I used to borrow before. So yeah. But you see, one day I came across this and so scripture. And for some reason, I began to study and pray and ask the Lord and see what the Lord began to teach me. See, the Lord taught me that every time I receive my salary, because we work in a firm, the same place now, so, so you, what, you can relate with this. So anytime I receive my salary, this, he, he taught me what to do with it. He taught me about tithing. He taught me about giving. He taught me about honoring him. And then since that day, do you know what? The last time I ever borrowed for anything was so, so time ago. For real? Yeah, for real. Wow. So wait, are you trying to say that um, if something happened, say no, by the grace of God, no, because I'll put to work what God has taught me. That thing he has taught me that I'm teaching you. And go and pray. He will confirm them to you. Wow. Now, he came to you to sign as a guarantor. But you see, you are causing the light to shine. I'll tell you what that does. He leaves you. Now, sometimes they will not receive because they are so desperate. But you see, there is something you have done in that person's life. You may not see the effect today. But months later, maybe years later, someone is discussing with him and then they are talking about you and then they are trying to run you down in certain area and then this person say no no i know that person when it comes to borrowing he will never go he will never go i understand how he thinks where those things are concerned why because you allow your lights to shine now you may think you're secluded in a place but you don't realize someone will recommend someone to you. I said, oh, oh ah, that guy, at least I know one thing about that guy. He's not going to get you into debt. Praise <laughs> God. I know he will never get you into debt. I said, why did he say so? Oh, he operates in a principle that he is too convinced about that makes him not to borrow. It's a recommendation. You don't know where that recommendation is going to come in handy. You don't know. It may come in handy for a spouse. It may come in handy for a better job. You don't know. So when Jesus said, let your light so shine, he said, let people know who you are. Question then is, who are you? He doesn't mean, when I say, let people know who you are, doesn't say me. I know I'm a bad person, so I, I will not hide it. Let everyone just know that I'm a bad person. That is not light. That is darkness you're shining change and allow the light of god to permeate you and now begin to shine that light listen i pray right now thank you holy spirit that this anointing thank you lord father you said you're releasing on us 
measure of your spirit that will bring make us be witnesses on a, on a higher level. I pray let that anointing rest upon everyone that is watching right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As you step out today, new thoughts and ideas are coming into your heart. And they will cause your light to shine in various ways. And men will recognize that you are a child of God indeed, not just a talker. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare this well with you today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.